But what's up, y'all? I am June Laney. Welcome back to the Liberty Flames Dynasty. And today is the final episode in the series. We have come to Liberty. We turned them from a terrible... I was say organization because it's, 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 it's a college. Turned them from just some random team in the south-ish. They're in Virginia. To a MAC championship. Hey, go to the ACC. Dominate that. Win that. Go to the SEC. Dominate that. Win a national championship. And then go to a super conference. Win the national championship. And uh, this year was not as good. We were 10 and 3. But we won. We were number 2. Which sounds about right. So this episode, um, we're just going to kind of go through the next four years kind of very briefly and quickly. So we'll kind of look at who are the incoming recruits that we got. And uh, really, it's just kind of see all those players that we recruited, you know, over the past few years. And some players, you know, that we did recruit. And then we have three first round draft picks. That is crazy. Jer Jeremy Cody. Wow. Uh, Tom Ford, of course, and uh, Tyler Smith. Not. Where is Terrence Burke? He has no, uh, he's not going to the NFL. He's 99 overall. Wow. I was actually very surprised. I expect to see Tyler Smith, Tom Ford. Uh, Jeremy Cody, I'll admit, did not expect to see him. Uh, where's the uh, where's Joe Davis? How is, how is I, I'm so confused. How is, how is Tom Ford considered, but not Joe Davis? Wild, wild. <sighs> so, I ready for this? Are ready for it to to cry tears? Uh, export draft class, sure. Why not? The Danny Harris one. Uh, I'm just gonna say Burke uh, for for this. Would you like that if we just maybe did a quick series on Madden and we try to draft all the Liberty players and uh, win a um, Super Bowl? That would be uh, that'd be kind of fun, don't you think? So yeah, three first round draft picks: Tom Ford, Jeremy Cody, and Tyler Smith. Uh, I wish they showed you what pick they were, but three first round picks, that's that's really good. Now, if you're saying, hey, is there no more Dynasty? No, no, no. We have a new one coming. The ULM Warhawks. You're saying, who are they? Good. I'm glad you don't know who they are. I didn't know who they were either. <laughs> and so uh, we're, we're going to restart them. Uh, so that's coming up very, very soon. Okay. Uh, I thought about taking a break. Do I take a break? No, I feel ready. Uh, it is college football revamped. So everything's kind of newer. All the scoreboard. It looks a whole lot better. So it's going to be just all in all better. And it's just a good place to kind of, you know, restart. So we have a lead on a lot of these guys. Um, not this guy. So we have 1,500 points and we only have three people we can go after. So you're talking like minimum uh, 5,000 points each. Okay, here's what we're going to go with. 8,000, 3,000, 3,000. Just because we can. We, we're going to have an incredible class. I mean, one of our best, if not our best overall. Just so many good players. So many good players. Are you surprised we got all three? Signed the number one class, clearly. Here is our recruiting class. Victor Jones, Antonio Washington. Uh, just huge, big, beefy boy. We don't really need him. Can we not see the stats? That's kind of annoying. Uh, running backs, Danny Jackson, Jeff Gaines. Uh, fullback, we needed a fullback really bad. Jay Henderson. Wide receiver, Maurice Haynes. Uh, 6'5", 210. I'm pretty sure he had like really high speed, too. Um, a couple tackles. They're really just kind of guys are going to stick at the end. Kurt Miller, someone who could start number seven guard in the country. Uh, Clayton Ryan, Tony Baker, Josh Sutton. Uh, good sleeper uh, there. Uh, linebacker, Wesley Lowe, number eight outside linebacker. Surprised that's not higher, to be honest. Cornerbacks, we needed this so bad. Uh, we had the number six quarterback, number three cornerback, and number five cornerback. Absolutely insane. They're all not very big other than Doug Lambert. Um, that's is that it. Oh, a couple athletes. That's right. A ton of athletes. Uh, Dominic Lucas, Albert Collins. Again, we don't really know where these guys kind of fit in to our team, but uh, they're going to be really, really good. These are some wild training results. Uh, I'm just going to go down really quick. If you want to pause and take a look, uh, some of the, the top ones uh, punter Andrew Gilliam, 95. Kyle Holloway is a 95 overall. That is insane. Uh, so many uh, people moving up. The big one, though, who is our quarterback this year? Austin uh, Austin Holland is there. But look at Jerome Johnson, 83. He's the guy we've been looking at for a while. Um, really good throw power, 96 throw power. Dude has a cannon, a cannon on him. Here is your starting lineup depth chart. What do you want to say? Jerome Johnson, we're going with the freshman. We're going to see how he does this year. Running back, of course, Kyle Holloway, followed up by Drew McDougal, the senior. 
who has maybe had three carries all time. Mark Lane, uh, Larry Williams, all the way down at the bottom. Fullback is Larry Williams. Okay, he is. Uh, he was running back. We moved to fullback just because we needed more fullbacks. Uh, the other fullback we just got, uh, we redshirted just because we want a super guy. Uh, wide receiver Joe Davis, Mike Ross, uh, William Williams. Senior season. I thought it was a senior last year, but I guess not. Uh, Brandon Johnson, tight end. And got Th Thomas Haley and Dane Dodd. Rick Campbell, Brandon Jones, Sidney Bank. I can't believe Rick Campbell's only a junior. I feel like he's been on our team forever. Isaac White, the left tackle. Jo uh, Jordan Beck, James Baker, Eugene Sherman, and Stephen Cook. Our offensive line next year is going to be stacked. Uh, Mark Berry, uh, Jared Carter, and a man on the left end. Right end is going to be Jermaine Oliver, preseason All-American. Uh, as a sophomore uh, that is crazy uh josh allen of course all american not surprised there um he's gonna dominate this year wesley Lowe, freshman true freshman starting at left outside linebacker middle linebacker of course the all-american adam richardson right outside linebacker austin walker corners patterson mooney uh, adam green william gullery and then tim nugent the true freshman we could have redshirted him but uh we redshirted the other guys so Kind of couldn't. Uh, Johnny Rowe, Chaz Tyler. Remember Chaz? He was great. He won a, uh, I'll say a Super Bowl championship with us. Junior Tommy James, of course. And then uh, Andrew Gilliam. We are going to need uh, Joe Davis. And I'm assuming Joe Davis is also doing uh, punt returns as well. We are going to need a new punter kicker, which we're going to go after uh, this year. So how this is going to go is uh, all you're really going to see is us going straight to, uh, like, Halfway point, we'll check in, and then we'll check in at the end of the season. Of course, don't forget, we're still in the Super Conference, so it's going to be just a bloodbath uh, for the next four years. To start the season, we're ranked number one going up against USC. Halfway through the season, uh, we're 5-2, and two, still ranked in the top five, not bad. Uh, Drum Johnson, uh, 17 touchdowns, 5 picks. Uh, Low-key, really nice. Uh, Kyle Holloway, a little disappointing. Um, only 70 rushing attempts in a seven games, so that's 10 a game. Probably should have more. Jerome Johnson has 89. So, dude is running. Drew go shout out to him, too. Uh, who's been the receiver? It's been spread out. Mike Ross, red zone, as always. I mean, 6'3". He's a big red zone target. Five touchdowns. You can see the stats there. Uh, on defense, Wesley Lowe, the true freshman leading. Uh, shout out to him. Uh, defensively, we are not getting after the quarterback. When your free safety is tied for the lead in, lead in sacks after seven weeks, not not good. Uh, Jermaine Oliver needs to be a ton better. Uh, defensively, we're forcing turnovers. CJ Jew, Johnny Rowe, who's injured. Ray Patterson, Chaz Tyler, and Adam Green. So uh, we'll see how the rest of the season goes. This is kind of like an in-between season where I think next year, uh, the big game today, Ohio State, Number six versus number four. Let's see what we do. <laughs> End of the season, we ended up eight and four. Not not the best. Um, yeah, Jerome Johnson got injured, which is probably why we didn't finish off very well. Uh, Austin Holland uh, played like not even close to the amount of snaps and threw almost the same amount of interceptions as Jerome Johnson. Jerome Johnson, he is legit, y'all. He is legit. Uh, Kyle Holloway um, needs more touches. Jerome Johnson did did well, but receiving the ball. Joe Davis, Mike Ross up there, red zone threat as always. Uh, defensively, Austin Walker led us. Wesley Lowe, shout out to him. Uh, played a really good uh, year. Um, yeah, our defensive ends, what is going on? We need more from from y'all, please. Uh, interceptions, uh, only six guys got interceptions. That's wild. Shout out to CJ Jude. Um, <laughs> great, great year. So Adam Adam Green, the, the freshman, okay, leading us. Not bad, not bad. Some awards. Uh, Gilliam won the Ray Guy Award. Shout out to our punter. Uh, he actually had the punt this year, so so that's why he won that uh, that award. Hey, we won the Music City Bowl against the Georgia Tech. Go us. So nine and four on the season. Uh, not too bad. Decent recruiting class. Not the best, to be honest. Uh, we lost uh, quite a few. Let's we'll take a look at our uh, recruiting class uh, for this year and really after this class uh we're not gonna see too much uh recruiting because it's not really gonna matter uh, after this year uh gabe taylor you can kind of see just uh we get our new kicker and punter uh, as well as they're going to take over and have to go eventually so uh and steve wright that's our other punter but you can kind of see all the different uh players in the corner it's always good to have corners and uh one uh, so there's our recruiting class not too many players leaving this year honestly um Mike Ross wants to leave. No, he will not regret staying. Yes, promise. 
He's coming back. Yeah, we need Josh Allen leaving too. No, 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 no. There you go. We reminded him that. Yeah, we need to. We need to. We need to keep all these guys. Yes, thank you, thank you. Okay, we're, we're keeping all these guys. Chris Mooney, yeah, he's got to go. All these other seniors, they got to go. Um, so really, we're not losing much of anyone this year. Take a look at all the player upgrades. We have 99, 90, so many 90s. This is going to be a very nice year. I mean, take a look at Kyle Holloway's 99. Do you see that coming? Kind of. We kind of knew who's always going to be good. Uh, yeah, just a junior James Bagger, dude. So many NFL caliber people. Ray Patterson, non red shirt senior. Dude is ridiculous. Johnny Rowe, just all these guys took massive, massive leaps. And yeah, Jerome Johnson is a 93 as a sophomore. Wow, that is insane. Look at all the quarterbacks. So we're good for a while. Austin Hall went up, whatever. He's not starting. I mean, we are, we are set. We are set for a long time. These next four years. Here's our starting lineups uh, for uh, this year. Jerome Johnson at quarterback. Kyle Holloway, his senior season uh, potential, like. Heisman Trophy, uh, freshman, for whatever. Uh, Joe Davis, Mike Roth. Look at all these seniors. But hey, we got some young guns coming up here. Collins. Uh, I don't know why he's there. Just put a put a name down there real quick. Um, tight end Rick Campbell. His senior season. Can you believe it? Uh, we do need to find a tight end uh, this year for sure. Uh, offensive line is young and good. Look at that left side. Both sophomores. Junior at the center. Senior right guard. But we got we got people we can. Uh, it was senior right tackle, but same thing. We have people we're gonna be able to summon real quick. Uh, left end. Our defense is like okay, not the greatest. Josh Allen's only a junior, he's a 95, he's ridiculous. Um, yeah, our defense is up and coming, it's young. Uh, Wesley Lowe, nice. Adam Richardson, senior season. This is his last year, so sad. But we got some guys coming. We, we have developed really, really well. So I'm excited to see where we are. Ray Patterson, cornerbacks look ridiculous. Uh, free safety, Johnny Rowe, uh, CJ Jubal take over next year and um, Ian Edwards uh, the year after that, which will be the final year. So Chaz, Chaz Tyler, CJ Jude there. Kicker, Tommy jo James, and then, of course, Andrew Gilliam. And both of our other punter kickers are uh, redshirted this year. So, uh, let's take a look at what we're, like, rated overall. We won our first game. I started simming. I was like, oh, I thought I forgot to even check what our starting, starting lineup is. So, we're at 99-99. Insane. Probably the best we've ever been. Uh, halfway through the season, and we look like the best team uh, in the league. We're 6-0. Six, six oh. uh, we are lighting it up. Let's take a look at the season stats so far. Um, is Jerome Johnson injured again? Because they keep like swapping, but I mean, two interceptions between the two of them. <laughs> Absolutely uh, insane. Run the ball. Um, I don't know what's up with Kyle Holloway. Like, just not getting touches, but Jerome Johnson's getting a ton. But whatever. Mike Ross, eight touchdowns in six games. Dude is insane on 29 catches. Are you kidding me? That's like a touchdown every three catches. Oh, I didn't even show the. the <laughs> The, the defensive stats but yeah we are we are dominating we are dominating quick look at the defense stats. yeah yeah it's still the defensive line not not better but still not uh not the best um same amount of picks i guess there's all the different tim nugent um is there this year so so far so good let's see what happens at the end of the season End of the season, we're in the SEC Championship taking on Auburn, who's number two. Uh, we went 10 and 2. Uh, kind of stumbled uh, down the stretch there. Let's see if we get the dub. And we do. And let's see, do we get a bid to the National Championship? No bid to the National Championship, but Sugar Bowl. Uh, number four versus number nine, the Allstate Sugar Bowl. And yeah, we won the SEC Championship again. Uh, a lot of a lot of other yeah our center was re ridiculous oh, we got the best kicker award wow we've never won that before our boy mr ross most receiving touchdowns in a career breaking pedro brooks is 32 are you surprised not really also jerome johnson breaks tom smith most passing touchdowns we haven't looked at the the stats yet passing yards breaks that record by the way we lost the sugar bowl oh i can't believe it Season stats for this season, uh, 3,500 yards, 31 touchdowns, 10 picks for Jerome Johnson uh, as a sophomore. Austin Holland came in and played a little bit here and there, I guess. Uh, run the ball, Jerome Johnson had 11 rushing touchdowns. Uh, dude is a beast on the ground. Uh, Kyle Holloway just never, like, 
got enough touches he's really good just never got touches receiving the ball we already saw mike ross 11 touchdowns uh, almost a thousand yards receiving probably the best receiver we've had in a while uh poor rick campbell always thought he was gonna be a lot better than um end up being uh on the defensive side of the ball cj jude austin walker look at sacks again not as many as like we used to have i don't know if it's just our defense that we ran or what but they get way more interceptions <laughs> Johnny Rose, Cedar Jude, all those. Ray Patterson, senior season. Uh, I'm interested to see how many uh, people we send to the league this year. Quick look at the last two years. 9-4, and 11-3. and three. Really, we should be 12. We should have won that Sugar Bowl. I can't believe uh, can't believe we lost that. Quick look at all the seniors leaving or graduating. Uh, some good ones. Adam Richardson. Oh, did not get any looks. Uh, next level, I guess it makes sense. 5-11, 224. Too small kicker. Not too surprised. Uh, Austin Walker. Sixth round? Rick Campbell, not surprised. Uh, sixth round, Scott Novak. I don't even remember him at all. Andrew Gilliam, not a surprise. Fourth, fourth round punter, insane there. Uh, Johnny Rowe, really got out of nowhere past two seasons. Uh, second round, Ray Patterson, first round. Obviously, we, we saw that coming. Uh, Mike Ross, first round. Obviously, six three, super speed, first round pick. Uh, Joe Davis, another one, first round pick. <laughs> Kyle Holloway, first round pick. So we have one, two, three, four first round picks projected this year. Absolutely insane. Look at these training results. We are absolutely insane. Drone Johnson, James Baker, Josh Allen, 399s, most 99s we've ever had on the team. Look at all these 90s, high 90s, Jermaine Oliver. As much as last year might have been our season, it, it might be this. Shout out to Mark Lane putting the work, becoming 95. Uh, Y'all, this is this is like our best team yet. This is our best team yet. Take a look at this loaded team. Drum Johnson leading number 99. He may try to go to, to pros after this. Uh, yeah, Mark Lane, Jay Henderson. So I get to the players who we don't really have any um, tied to. Dane Dodd. We do. That's about the one. Maurice Haynes. Um, yeah, wide receiver were a little thin. Not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, two tight ends. Like, look. I, I wish we had this guy. I guess we kind of did with the uh, Corey Dyches. Uh, offensive line, young, but uh, still good. Young, but still good. James Baker, superstar. My hair is like I said, we got a nice young uh, offensive line. Defensive line looks okay. Jermaine Oliver, watch out. Josh Allen, 99, watch out. Clay Duckett, Joe Williams. Uh, oh, I said Neck Andrews. Like, what a name. Uh, our corners, nasty. Nasty. Free safety, CJ Jude, senior year. Chaz Tyler, of course, got the kicker. Willie Henderson, the two freshmen. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll see. But I never was also doing the kick and punt returning. We are starting at number one, but first game versus USC. We need a dub, but we're going to send. We have an FCS game in there. And a US. Slacking. But let's see. This is probably our best team yet. Let's see if we can get a national championship. What a season we are having. We are 12 and 0 right now. Going up against 12 and 0 Auburn. Are you serious? You talk about the uh, craziest uh, uh, SEC championship. This is insane. Let's see if we can do. We're gonna, we're gonna watch this together. We're going together. It's gonna show us. Did we win? Oh, we lost by three. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Put us in the national championship anyway. Put put us there anyway. Who cares? Who cares? We drop the four and play in the Rose Bowl. Uh, Baker won the tr the offensive lineman trophies again. Uh, oh, Lombardi Trophy. Hey, okay. We won a lot of different kinds of awards this year. Shout out to our team, though. I mean, 12 and 1 is uh, not bad. Uh, we'll simulate this game versus Ohio State. We should we should take this dub. Uh, I'll be I'll be upset if we don't win this. Doing this does it show? It may not show. It doesn't show. I'll find out in a second. Hey, we got the dub 38 to 21. So, a uh, really good year. Collins breaks the record for most receiving touchdowns in a season with 13. And yeah, we, you know, we 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 won the uh, the Rose Bowl. Let's take a look at the uh, season stats this year. Some injuries this season, but uh Jerome Johnson even with like limited saw like 30 touchdowns, three picks. Uh, absolutely insane. That guy is incredible. They lead the team in rushing to Oh, no, Mark Lane did 10. Touchdowns five for uh, Jerome Johnson. So shout out to him. I uh, received the ball. You saw uh, Albert Collins, 13 touchdowns. Uh, Maurice Haynes with 11. Looks like our uh, amazing passing uh, years came here. I wish we got to play with Jerome Johnson, but defense actually played well. Josh Allen, ridiculous. Wallace Branch was there. Clay Duckett, all these guys. Um, well, Adam Green had six interceptions. 
That is insane. Oh, wow. Wait, what around? I think we're going to stop right here. Well, I think it's official. Liberty is now a powerhouse. Yeah, we had those two kind of down years. We kind of hit our peak, kind of went down, and now we're back up and dominating. And we still would, would probably dominate next year. Look at our career record. 108 and 28. And really, take take away... Oh, this, oh it doesn't count that. 111. See, okay, that, may, that makes more sense. I was like, wow, that's not a lot of losses. But uh, yeah, yeah. Versus top 25, 31 and 15. Bulk is 6 and 4. And eight. It could be better. But wow, hey, what a series uh, this has been. Uh, this is where, really, my YouTube channel got started. This is where it kind of got all based off of. And it, the channel's not going away. Don't worry. We have a brand new series coming out. And series are popping off. Like, it is... It is great. So thank you for coming along on this journey with the Liberty Flames. I am Julianne. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing right down below. And we will see you next time. Thank you, Liberty. Shout out to you.